Hi guys, this is Amy from Key Delicious Life and I had to take my daughter to swim today and I got a package in the mail and I know what it is. This is my Keto Mojo. So I'm so excited. So I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to open this if I can. I have nothing to open it with here. Use a key. Um, I, you know, I've always tested my urine with the keto urine strips, you know, and for four months that I have been on keto, I have always tested in pink to purple, like it's never gone away. So I'm just so interested to see what my blood levels really are. And specifically, I really want to see what my glucose blood levels are because I know with insulin resistance that is a big key component a big factor um, to how your body is able to lose weight or not able to lose weight so I wanted to see if my blood glucose levels are spiking after certain meals which could then be knocking me out of ketosis. And I want to see what, how much ketones I have in my blood as well. So I ordered this. And what I love about the, the Keto Mojo is that, of course, it can test both. So that makes it really awesome. And also the really cool thing is, is not only can it test both, but the strips are cheaper. So, um... They, they were really good to me. I ordered just the basic kit. I think it was like $60 kit. Um, and they, it was back ordered until like March. And I was really anxious to get it sooner. So I reached out to the company and I asked them, you know, if there was a way I could get it any sooner. And they basically said that that kit was on back order till March 15th. But if I added a couple more boxes of the test strips... Um, then I would actually ex expedite the shipping of this because it would be a different kit. Um, so I went ahead and did that and they were on sale and as well they gave me a um, like another $10 off discount. So it actually was a really great deal. And so I got it sooner. I got it like in two days. Anyway, I wasn't happy about having to buy that many more test strips because I didn't think I was going to use that many, but we will see how it works out. So I opened the box and this is what it looks like right here. Um, so inside the box is this little black kit and when you unzip that, and here's what it looks like inside comes with all the goods that you need um I'm so nervous because I'm such a big big fat baby when it comes to poking myself I have been poked and prodded so much in my lifetime between pregnancies between heparin shots and injections because I had blood clots I've been poked a lot and then monitoring my blood for my thyroid like probably every three months it's, it, I don't like to be poked, but this is a little tiny prick and everyone says they barely feel it. So, and so basically what I'm going to do is I am going, my, what I'd like to do is do a few different glucose, um, test, like after I eat, especially after I eat or drink, um, let's say my bulletproof coffee with my stevia drops. Let's see what my glucose levels are. Are then you know I want to I want to test that out and after eating certain meals so it'll be really interesting to monitor that for maybe a few days and just see where I am standing and it'll help me to better understand my body and what my body how it responds to certain foods so I'm excited I'm looking forward to that and I'm especially looking forward to sharing it with all of you so the next step is I need to read the directions and there's also some videos on their website because you want to make sure that you are doing it correctly. So I want to um, go on their website, watch their videos on how to use it and then later on when I get back home, I will give myself a prick and see where I am. Alright, so thanks so much guys for watching and stay tuned for more. 
I am back with the Keto Mojo. I just got it today. I have got the Lancet loaded in and I've watched all the videos on the website as well as I have washed my hands so they're clean. And I'm really nervous because I'm a big baby. So it shows to do it kind of on the side of the finger rather than on the pad. So here we go. I'm going to just... Yikes. Okay, that doesn't feel like it did anything. But there is a little tiny bit of blood coming out. But I can't, I am not good at this. I guess I shouldn't be a nurse. So, and interestingly, I'm on blood thinner. You'd think it'd be more blood. But this doesn't look like enough to me. It doesn't quite look like enough blood. So... I was afraid of that. And this Lancet, I noticed it was a slight kind of crooked, so that could have been why, too. So I had it set on uh, the third depth setting. I may have to go up one or two. It didn't hurt, though, so that's good. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's try... We'll raise it up to a little bit deeper depth. And let's try it again. Yeah. That one definitely felt... Um, God, what do I, I have no blood. What is going on? Um, maybe I didn't squeeze hard enough because now that one definitely is working a little bit better. I'm just going to go ahead and try to do a reading. So I have my little vial here. I'm going to take a strip out and we'll put the strip in. If I remember to read, if I read the directions correctly. Oh goodness, I don't understand which way it's supposed to go in. Hmm. Okay, I remember now. So I'm going to stick this in. So I've stuck that in. Um, now it's going to do a little test to make sure that it's ready. And when you see the blood droplet blinking, you just... Let me see if I can show you. You touch it to the edge, and it's supposed to suck up the blood. And I have a feeling I don't have enough blood because... Um, it didn't go all the way up that little line. But my reading is 0.7. Um, can you see that? 0.7 right there. There it is. 0.7. So anything above, I believe it was 0.5, um, either 0.5 or 0.6 means you are in ketosis. Now, um, I am measuring this at, I think it's like 8 o'clock at night, so I'm measuring it late in the evening. I'm not sure if you should do it first thing in the morning. I have, um, I have, you know, had meals today and I've um, had coffee and whatnot, so, but 0. 0.7, so it definitely reads that I'm in ketosis. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, I will also probably be testing my blood glucose, but I might... Um, do that tomorrow because I want to start with kind of a fresh day of eating and whatnot. But yeah, so that was, that's the Keto Mojo 0.7, my reading. Okay guys, so we're back. I'm going to try this again. I read the directions. It says you want to rub the area for like 20 seconds to get blood flow there. Um, the last test, I don't feel that the blood filled up the whole little window, and it does say that it needs to fill it up, so I'm going to try it again and see if I can get more blood. Maybe I'll go up a notch on the depth, but ugh, it just, I'm a baby. So I have um, some al rubbing alcohol here. Wipe that off. Got my lancet ready to go, and... We're going to give this a try. I have to squeeze pretty hard to get 
a nice size dot of blood. I'm not expecting it to be too much different, but we'll see. So I'm gonna slide in the strip. And again, we wanna wait for it to say, uh, the droplet little sign to say ready. And then I will go ahead and touch it on. And you can see that time it definitely filled the whole window. So now it's gonna count down three, two, one, and point nine. So yeah, it definitely gave a better reading when I got enough blood on there. So point nine is my reading. And then you can see point nine. So the other reading was point seven, but again, the blood did not full go all the way down. So you definitely want to make sure that that does go all the way down. So yeah, point nine. So yay, that's better. I was kind of hoping for a little bit higher number, like more like a one or even maybe a two. But yeah, so anyway, I'm excited about that. All right, well, there you go. There you have it. Blood, the actual, my actual numbers that are swimming around inside of my blood right now at uh, 10 o'clock at night. So there we go. So this is the next day. I tested my ketone levels last night at about like 10.30 or 10 around there after eating dinner and I was 0.9. So I wanted to this morning, well it's actually almost afternoon, but I have been fasting so I wanted to kind of just see what my starting base was. I did break my fast with um, some coffee with some heavy cream. So most likely I've broken my fast. So anyway, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna change out the Lancet because the one that I had in here last night um, was slightly crooked. So I'm gonna change it out for one, a new one that should be nice and straight. You just stick it in. I'm gonna get it in there nice and snug. Straighter needle in here. I thought, well, maybe if it was going in slanted, it wasn't getting quite the puncture that it needed. And it's ready to go. So I'm going to give the good old massage to my fingertips because they're always kind of cold at this time of the day. Get some blood flow in there. Um, I'm excited to see, you know, where I am in the morning. I think testing at different times of the day is going to be interesting just to see um, just to see where I'm at. So I'm going to clean off my fingers with some rubbing alcohol. Doo, doo, doo. Um, I am not a fan of poking myself, but I have always been very curious about my blood glucose. Diabetes does run in my family. Um, on my mom's side, my mother and my grandmother both had diabetes. Um, on my dad's side, I'm not so sure about the history there. Um, but, you know, it, I definitely have had insulin resistance and my doctors have told me I'm, you know, prob most likely pre-diabetic. So you know, who isn't, you know, anymore at, in America, especially in the States, you know, it's diabetes is crazy. So, and I really, really firmly believe it is the foods that we are eating. We are eating too much sugar. We are eating too much processed foods. Those processed foods have, are packed with even more sugar. It's crazy. It's out of control. So, um, I don't want to be one of the statistics. So we're going to test and see where I'm at. This finger today, and I'll make sure I get it in a decent spot. Okay. That worked a lot better in terms of getting that droplet of blood. Sorry if the blood um, is not something that you're comfortable with. I apologize for that. 
So if that is something that bothers you, definitely probably don't want to watch these videos. So I'm going to wait for this to say that it is ready. There's the little blinking blood, so I'm just going to touch my finger to the strip. You hold it there until it beeps. Three, two, one, zero. And I got a reading of 0 0.8. 0 0.8. So that's pretty good. Awesome. Okay, let's try to do the glucose. So let's give it a try. Okay, so I got 82, and I believe that's a really good number. So that will be my starting blood glucose level. That is after having a coffee with heavy cream. I didn't have any um, collagen powder in it or any MCT oil. I was just not in the mood for that this morning, so it was just literally just coffee with um, stevia and heavy cream. So those are my readings for today. So yeah, this is great. I'm excited to just actually see some real numbers. I'm not guessing. I know I'm in ketosis and you know, that's a good feeling for me. I want to see if I can bring the ketone levels up, if that makes a difference in my weight loss. Some say it does, some say it doesn't. Um, I also want to see if certain foods are spiking my blood glucose levels. So yeah, it's just going to be a great tool to help, you know, expedite my weight loss, help keep me in check and all of that good stuff. So thanks for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed these videos and let me know your thoughts down below. If you think I should do something different, if um, you have suggestions, anything that you have, put it down below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much. Have a great one. This is Amy Lish. Amy Lish. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay.